Hi everybody! Welcome to Worthington Library's online story time. My name is Miss Karen and I do the story times at the old Worthington Library. Today we're going to be doing some stories about up and down and because children are such physical active learners um, we're going to be doing a lot of physical reinforcement of the concepts of up and down but before we get started we're going to do our opening song and in case you haven't seen the signs or don't remember them they go like this so it's the more we get together like we're bringing everybody into our circle the happier we'll be that's happy just bubbling up inside and coming out okay and then we'll say for your friends like they're hugging each other are my friends and my friends are your friends the more we get together the happier we'll be ready let's try it the more we get together 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 the more we get together the happier we'll be for your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends the more we get together the happier we'll be Good job! And I am so happy to be here with all of you, my friends. Are you ready to get started? All right. First thing I want to talk about is up. Can you show me up? Yeah, reach way up. Stand up. Reach way up. How tall can you stretch? Can you reach way up high? Good job. Now we're going to go down, all the way down to the floor. Are you ready? Here we go. Down, 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 down. Touch your toes. Now we're going to come back up. Can you go up, up, up so high, up on your tiptoes? There you go. And if you have a baby, you can lift them up and take them down, down, down with us. Ready? All the way down. Good job. Touch your toes and come back up. All right. Let's do our first story about up and down. Now, before we do that, I want to ask you a question. When you look up into the sky, what are some of the things you see? Mm -hmm. You might see the sun. You might see the moon if it's nighttime. What else is out at night? Stars. Mm -hmm. Well, my first story is one about something you see in the sky, but it's kind of a mystery. So let's see if you can figure it out. Are you ready? Here we go. The title of this book is It Looked Like Spilled Milk. It is written and illustrated by Charles Shaw and is being read with permission from HarperCollins Publishers. Sometimes it looked like spilt milk, but it wasn't spilt milk. Sometimes it looked like, what do you think that looks like? Yeah, to me it looks like a tree, but it wasn't a tree. Sometimes it looked like, what do you think that looks like? Oh, a bird, but it wasn't a bird. Sometimes it looked like a rabbit, yeah, but it wasn't a rabbit. Sometimes it looked like, yeah, sometimes it looked like an ice cream cone, but it wasn't an ice cream cone. And sometimes it looked like spilt milk, but it wasn't spilt milk. Do you know what it was? Remember we said it was something you might see in the sky. Yeah, 
it was just a cloud in the sky. Sometimes it's really fun to go out and just look up at the clouds and see what shapes you can find up there. And grown-ups, that's a great way to get your kids talking and telling stories and using their imagination as well. Let's sing a song now about something else we see in the sky. Something we see at night. Do you remember what we mentioned? The moon and the stars. Do you know any songs about stars? Yeah, let's sing it. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Are you ready? Here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Good job. The next story I have for you is called Come Back, Ben. It is by Anne Hassett and John Hassett. And it is being read with permission from Holiday House Publishers. Ben had a balloon. Ben's balloon went up. Bye, Ben, said his sister. Ben's balloon went up. Come back, Ben, said the window. Ben's balloon went up. Come back, Ben, said the bees. Ben's balloon went, where do you think? Yeah, up again. Come back, Ben, said the tree. Ben's balloon went up. Come back, Ben, said the kite. Ben's balloon went up. Come back, Ben, said the big hill. Ben's balloon went up. Come back, Ben, said the rain. Come back, Ben, said the rainbow. Ben's balloon went up to the moon. Hi, Ben, said the moon. Ben put moon rocks in his pockets. What do you think those rocks are going to do? I think all those rocks made him heavier. Goodbye, Ben, said the moon. And Ben's balloon went down. It went down past the rainbow, past the rain, past the big hill, past the kite, past the tree, past the bees, and in the window. Ben's balloon went up. Bye, balloon, said Ben. Bye, Ben, said his sister. This rhyme is called Five Little Rockets, and we're going to start off with, yeah, five little rockets. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Are you ready to be a rocket and blast off? Okay, here we go. Five little rockets ready to zoom. The first one says, I'm blasting off soon. Starts its engines, ready to fly, looks at the others and waves goodbye. <laughs> now we have five. If we take away one, how many do we have left? One, two, three, four. And growing up, so when we say things like 
take away one, we're getting the brain thinking about subtraction. So this is a really good way to practice some early math skills. Four little rockets ready to zoom. The next one says, I'm blasting off soon. It starts its engine, ready to fly. Looks at the others and waves goodbye. Four, take away one, is one, two, three. Three little rockets ready to zoom. The next one says, I'm blasting off soon. It starts its engine, ready to fly, looks at the others, and waves goodbye. <laughs> Three rockets, take away one, is Two. Two little rockets ready to zoom. The next one says, I'm blasting off soon. It starts its engine ready to fly. Looks at the other and waves goodbye. <laughs> Two rockets take away one. Leaves one rocket. One little rocket ready to zoom. The Little Rocket says, I'm blasting off soon. It starts its engine, ready to fly, looks at the others and waves goodbye. One Little Rocket, take away one Little Rocket, leaves you with zero Little Rockets, no more Rockets good counting and good subtracting. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to be an astronaut? An astronaut is someone who actually flies in the rockets to the moon or to the stars out in space. The next story I have for you is about a little girl who wants to be an astronaut. And this is called Astro Girl by Ken Wilson Max. And it comes to us from Candlewick Press. Astrid had loved the stars and space ever since she could remember. I want to be an astronaut, Astrid told her best friend Jake as they gazed up at the stars. Will you bring me an asteroid when you come back from space, asked Jake. Of course I will, Jakey. I want to be an astronaut, Astrid said at breakfast. Are you sure, Papa asked. You'll have to go round and round the earth in your spaceship. He swung her around. I can do that, Astrid said, giggling. What about eating food out of a tube or a package every day? I can do that, said Astrid, as she munched a cereal bar. Okay, Astro Girl, you'll also have to get used to zero gravity. Papa threw her up in the air. I can do that all day long, Astrid laughed. What about all the science experiments, asked Papa. Could you do those, my brave explorer? No problem, said Astrid, as they made rocket ship cookies. Will a space cadet like you be able to sleep on your own among the stars, Papa asked? think that will be very hard, but I'll do it, Astrid whispered. At last, it was time to go get Mama. Astrid wore her favorite space t-shirt. At the space center, Astrid and her papa moved to the front of the crowd, just as the doors opened. Mama! Astrid gave her mama a big kiss. I missed you, said Astrid. Where do you think her mama has been? It's in the background there. Yeah, her mama is an astronaut. I just want to be an astronaut, just like you, said Astrid. You're my hero.
Astrid has learned a lot about being an astronaut. The word astronaut comes from two Greek words, astron meaning star and nautis meaning sailor. American astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin were the first to land on the moon in the lunar module Eagle on July 20th, 1969. The first animal to go into orbit was a dog named Laika on the Russian Sputnik 2 race spacecraft on November 3rd, 1957. And look, here are some famous astronauts. And look how many of them are women. Valentina Tereshova from Russia was the first woman in space in 1963. Shannon Lucid from the United States set an early record for the longest time spent in space by a woman, 188 days in 1966. May Carol Jemison was the first African-American woman in space in 1992. Helen Sharman was the first British astronaut and the first woman to visit the Mir space station in 1991. Kaplana Chawla was the first woman born in India to go to space in 1997. Space food is freeze-dried so that it won't spill and cause any damage to machines. Fruit, bread, and nuts are okay as they are. Astronauts train underwater to create the feeling of floating in space. That's a lot to learn before you can be an astronaut. So grown-ups, the next time you are around the house or outside, spend some time looking around and talking to your child about things that you see that go up or down. We're getting to a good time of year for that because you're going to start to see leaves coming down a lot. Um, you can talk about different animals that are, can fly, um, all different kinds of things that you can see just by looking up or down. And really take time to look and pay attention. Noticing details is very, very good for children. Um, and it actually does help get them ready to read when you think about how many letters look very, very similar, except for like the way their tail curves. So noticing details is a big part of, of getting ready to read. Now it's time for us to get ready to say goodbye. So let's do our closing rhyme. Are you ready? We're gonna reach up. Here we go. Tickle the clouds. Tickle your toes. Now turn around and tickle your nose. Reach down low. Reach up high. Story time's over. Wave goodbye. Goodbye everybody. Thanks for joining us. Hope you'll be back next week with Miss Jenny from Northwest Library. Take care.